Welcome to River Bend Talon on WBGZ. Brought to you by the Halpin Music Company. I'm Dennis. And I'm Pigpen. And also brought to you by Mr. Matt Van Force of Macias Insurance. And as Lydia mentioned, uh, Halpin Music Company. Hey, uh, so real quick before we jump into the show, because we uh, we missed Halloween. We had we pre-recorded last. Yeah, year. we sort of so missed it. I went to Van Voorhis's house for Halloween. Though. Oh wow! Oh yeah, man, trick or treating there. Really? And he, yeah, I trick or treat there every year. His his wife gives good stuff. They get the whole big big candy bars, man. They don't give them little t- cheap ones, so it's worth the drive across town. Well, doesn't I'm, surprise. I just want to say thanks, Matt, for the insurance and the big candy bars at at uh, Halloween there. Big candy so, bars, not minis. <laughs> not the minis, man. The Full size ones. Nice. And I don't know. It, I did go to his house and I thanked him uh, for for sponsoring the show. So there you go. Well, that's right. So tonight we're talking to uh, world powerhouse wrestlers. Oh yeah, and, and I always love it when these guys come in. Although you know, I didn't know I was going to have to sit next to the judge. I guess we'll introduce them before I start talking. Yeah, to yeah. Man. Go for it. <laughs> All right, so we've got four members of the WPW. They've got their combat games coming up in Jerseyville uh, Saturday, November 16th, and and it's going to be a big deal. It is a big Uh, deal. And we'll talk about it here in a second, but but first let me make the introductions. Right next to me, we've got the judge. Good evening, Alton and Riverbend people. There we go. Uh, You know... I'm, I'll let it go for now. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Next to him, I, I got to hope I get this right so he doesn't jump me. Wapa Chancho. Oh, oh so Wapa, close. Wapa, Wapo. Wapo Chancho. Wapo Chancho. So, yes, thank you very much. Wapo Chancho. Wapo Chancho. I, I was so close, man. I, I, I okay. speak a no, little Spanish. Nobody gets no. it right. It's okay. <laughs> and, and Wapo is... The assistant CEO. No, I'm the special assistant to the CEO. The special assistant to the CEO yes. of the WPW. That makes him special. Man, yeah. Well, talking to him out there, I was kind of thinking that already. But <laughs> I thought you guys were whispering to each other about something. You've heard of the horse whisper. I'm the wrestler whisper. Oh, okay. I was, you know, I was calming him down and getting him on my side. So if the judge gets mouthy, I got somebody on my back. All right. All right. He's got a sweet voice. <laughs> so right, right next to Wapo is uh, the CEO, Jason Halbert. You all and Alton are graced with my presence oh on my the air. Geez. Oh my gosh! I bet everyone knows who the bad guy is now. <sighs> The bad guy. I, I was really <laughs> liking him out there, but he's he's a little little chip on his shoulder. But I like that. I I'm, can take that. I'm the only smart one here out of these idiots. <laughs> see, see, see. I, I don't know if I'm going to agree with that because uh, what? Right, I'm agreeing that I'm an idiot. I'm agreeing that I am. Okay. I, I'll never argue that part. <laughs> I'm king of jackasses. Uh, but, but right on the uh, uh, to the uh, end of the table, we have Shane Jones, who is the promoter of the Combat Games, and. Uh, I think Shane's as smart as you, easy. Hey, guys. How's it going? Thanks for listening, and uh, thanks for uh, giving us a shot to tell you about combat games coming up. See, uh, intelligently spoken. The most intelligent thing said, say here, second to WAPO. It's like he's a school teacher or something. (laughs) (laughs) I need to be one of his students. (laughs) Uh, All right. Well, before we get too much further into this, I want to I want to talk about last week's guest. You brought up Halloween, right? Oh yeah. So yeah. like yeah, they contacted me. Riverbend Paranormal. You know, we checked out the uh, hotel uh, Stratford last weekend, right? Yeah, it was some uh, neat stuff. Pretty creepy up there. We didn't quite get the video uploaded for that, uh, you know, from them, but there is video out there, and uh, hopefully we're going to do another one. But I wanted to mention their raffle for veterans. All right. Oh, nice. And they're, they're doing a raffle for veterans' family. There are going to be eight winners, and the top spot wins an uh, uh, investigation, right, to a private Riverbend paranormal investigation. And so uh, we got a link on our website for that. Get on there and sign up because all the proceeds they raise from this raffle to do these investigations go to this uh, veteran's family. Very nice. That's pretty hey, cool. One of the things I really liked about those guys, well, first, their, their uh, ghosty investigations uh, <clears throat> was done on scientific basis where they were, like, measuring temperature, measuring vibrations, not just 
saying I feel something or well, you know, which is cool. It was a little more scientific based, but at the end of the show when they talked about how they give any proceeds that they make goes back to into to the the community. Uh, you you love to see the people who are giving back. Now you so, want to do that before uh, November fourteenth? That's when the drawing is. Is that when the drawing ends? November fourteenth. Get it in there. And if you haven't seen that, that those they're they're really cool people. Uh, right, doing and, doing some good stuff. There. And Brian Murray, right? He's went on to do Ghost Hunters. He's from Riverbend Paranormal, right? And, and, uh, and uh, Rochelle Strand. Rochelle, there right? you go. Yeah. So, so that's cool. And we also, had Rochelle's big sister on though, so I mean, we did. That, that was way cooler. Jen Riley. There you go. Way more famous than Rochelle. <laughs> also, I wanted to mention that the uh, the deadline's coming up for the Alton Symphony Orchestra's St. Nicholas Scholarship. And this scholarship's a one-time $250 to qualified students uh, for financial assistance for private music lessons. Ooh. And uh, applicants will be judged uh, for their financial need, uh, academic achievement, and... Uh, that type of stuff. So all the information's on the uh, website, cottonmouth.org, and a link there. And that deadline's coming up to November 16th. Super cool. Super cool. Those are the so two big announcements I had for today. And that was some pretty big announcements there. That and the fact that Halpa Music has videos up for the ki- last Kids Rock session. The, oh, uh, the nice. Flying Blue Jays. <laughs> and right? they got the concert up mm-hmm. on YouTube. Excellent. Yep. Yeah, Adam, Elsie, Matthew, and Sullivan. Elsie's a guitar player. Excellent, and and these kids are all what age? Age is that four again? to seven? Four, four to seven is so, and, and they make they they put them in a band in a matter of weeks. Mm-hmm. You you're suddenly in a band at that age. It's beautiful, right? Beautiful yeah. thing they're doing out there. Mm-hmm. Hey, you know, I want to say this before we we go on and talk about what's really on the line at the combat games. Oh man, it's on the line. I know, but before we get into that, let's let's real quick jump back to the last time they were here. Right. right? Victor Cortez was uh, was one of the guests. He was injured. Uh, well, he was At getting ready time, to go. Right? He was getting ready to go up for the belt. He did, and he won the belt, right? Yeah. yeah he did. So he is cur- He is the current uh, uh, champion, right, of the WPW? Incorrect. No. No. Oh. no. At, at our last show, uh, Playboy Double H cashed in his guaranteed gold on a beaten down Victor Cortez and uh, walked out of there as our new WPW Whoa. World Heavyweight Champion again. Just in time for the show, Pigpen. Our show. Yeah, the, those Playboy guys, I don't like those guys. I don't know what it is about them. It's called you're not at their level. Us, oh, and then yeah. we're here, you're you're down at, like, ankle level. Oh, man. Wow. No wonder. You know, suddenly the judge is looking safe, man. I, I you know, you were the one I wasn't <laughs> liking when you walked in. And I still I still look at you funny because I know you're was with Butcher. You well, know. you know, Pigpen just has a problem with judges. I, no, I have a. I do have a problem. I do not like standing in front of them. I do not like being sentenced by them. Usually, the only time you're anywhere near a judge is when he says, "Will the defendant please rise?" <laughs> True. He knows you. By the end of this, I'm not going to be allowed 100 foot within you because I'm going to do things to you that I've done to other. No. <laughs> I'm not like that. I hate to burst your bubble, buddy. It's all right. I know someone who is. <laughs> Uh, so so let, let's get down to the fact. Let, let's get Uh-oh. down to, to what's going on the here juice. because it, they had the, the juice. Right. <laughs> Squeeze the juice, big man. <laughs> right. Squeeze that juice uh, be, because the, what, there's there's something really big on the line at the combat games, and there's always a belt on the line, or like uh, the the one time you you know I've, I've seen you give out different things, but this time, Wapo Team Wapo yes. is going against Team Halbert. So the CEO. And the special assistant to the CEO yes. are going head to head, and what's on the line is winner takes all, right? Yes. Winner becomes the CEO. Yes. Yeah, Wapo's very yes, yes. yes. He's very excited. I cannot wait for Jason to be my mm, work slave. I guess you would call it like, right. <laughs> kind of a work slave guy. I like the way you put the the work slave in there. Suddenly it got a little creepy. (laughs) Well, he has me do some weird stuff for him that has nothing to do with the company. I'm probably not, I shouldn't say it, but he's got some weird stuff. Uh, I make him bathe. (laughs) (laughs) He didn't know know what soap was until uh, he became my assistant, so I'm sorry. Uh, All right, look. A little personal hygiene never hurt anybody. I mean, is he making you like go get his like dry cleaning and stuff, or or, or is he making you like meet him in the back room for fifteen minute session? I mean, what's going on well, here? There's, well, some, <laughs> there's a little column A, little column B. I do this. 
you know, I get groceries and do other stuff, and I set up appointments, and sometimes I make my own matches when he's not around. But there's some other backroom stuff going on, too. Oh! <laughs> Got to make deals, make sure stuff, status quo is okay. Uh. Wow. I so love my company. We, we, wow. We, we got some dirt going on right there. And, so, and, so this match, though, coming up inside a cage, right? Is I, it, am I, I reading this right? Idiot. It's a barbed wire cage, Skull <laughs> Canyon. Bar- What's the difference from Skull Canyon well, barbed so wire cages and you've other? Got, you've got your normal cages, ours, instead of being chain link or anything like that. Uh-huh. You're enclosed in barbed wire. Oh there my. is no chain link. It's all barbed wire. Yeah. Oh my. It's not like one or two wraps around. It's all. The, it's the whole thing. It's just a wall of barbed wire. Wow. And then we stick some tools in there and some <laughs> toys. I think there's handcuffs. I put a bath in there. There's a whole <laughs> bunch of stuff we use. And there's a roof over the top so that you can't get out. No, no roof? No. no, I, no blew, roof. I blew the roof ah. off of it. Ah. <sighs> there used to be a roof. Ah. Yeah. I have an issue with barbed wire. I've tangled with barbed wire once, and it, it it's not good. It's unforgiving. Yeah, it's yeah. very it's yeah it's very unforgiving. I have a scar from here to my face all the way down. You can't see it. You can see mine. You can see mine. That's pretty good. That's not bad. I'd show that's that a barb. Off. That's a barbed wire scar right oh, there. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I enjoyed the Pamela on. Anderson barbed wire. <laughs> <laughs> I can get behind that barbed wire. That was that was that was interesting. That was good. So that is something that me and Jason Halbert can agree on. Yes. <laughs> so just to shed some light on how this match goes. Okay. It, it, the, the nature of combat games is each team has four members. And inside that cage, each team has one member start the match off. Every minute another team member is randomly drawn. You could have two on one, three on one. You could have all four members of one team on another, depending on how the random draw goes. Right. And then the team that has one member, at least one member remaining at the end of the match is the winner. So you start with one member from each team, but if the, the next three random draws go to the same oh. team, it's going to get ugly there for, yeah. for the one guy until a couple more minutes go by. He gets a little relief. Oh, man. Yeah. So, so who are the four members of Team WAPO? Well, I have the Mofos, which is Big Daddy Scar, and then the, the Super Frost, and those are the Mofos. And okay. then I have uh, the Fam, which is a Marcellus Knight. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then there's some other guy, but he's not going to be in it. <laughs> some other guy. Yeah, they kick him out uh-huh. because Victor Cortez say, hey, man, uh-huh. blah, 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 I want to fight. So they put him in there. I said, this is perfect. Uh-huh. I love Victor Cortez. He's a fighter. He's good. He's a good guy. There you go. Victor Cortez, Scar. Uh, super frosty, super frosty, Ex- Xavier Frost. Well, what did super Xavier frosty? Frost and then the big uh, uh, Marcellus. Marcellus. Marcellus, yeah, Mar- Marcellus, Knight. Marcellus Knight. Excellent man. That's that's quite a team you he's put together. He's my fat man there. flipper. My fat man flipper. Uh, now he's got a little brother that, that wrestles, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? Alex Steele. He's he's pretty Alex. good. Okay, my my daughter. Really liked him. When we, I took my daughter to a few, wow, uh, a few things. A yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she kept screaming, uh, "Steel is the real deal." Oh no! Now she was also screaming, "Searchers searching for talent." So, <laughs> you know. Uh, and then she was calling some girl Cindy Lauper. Somebody had a girl with her. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, the, the, yeah. The saw blade guy, the the big, big, real um, big guy. Rough, uh, rough cut. Rick rough Rubin. cut. Yeah, I yes, said yes. saw. I said saw. Rough cut. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I was close. This close, man. Uh, but yeah, yeah. So my daughter realized that that uh, W uh, going to these wrestling is a lot of talking smack. So if you got a kid who likes oh, yeah. to talk smack and likes to get involved in the show, this is a good this is a good show to go to. Uh, you see the the wrestlers come out and mess with the audience members at times, and uh, the, you see the the kids really go crazy for it. It's, yeah, we have uh, a lot of interaction one on one with the fans. It's yeah. so much fun. Oh, yeah, that's how I remembered that he had the little brother was because my daughter happened to be a fan. I think she just made a good rhyme for his name. I don't know. <laughs> I'm on the pig pen. You know you're a fan. That's how you're really keeping up with all this stuff. <laughs> you try to say it's her and it's you, man. You're the fan. Rick Ruffcut Ruben, I love you. <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't know. And he still gets the name wrong. I, 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 I was just taking a shot in the dark, brother. I was, I was so close. So, so close. Yeah, let's, so, uh, so, let's, so, t- Team Halbert, real quick. Let, let's go over Team Halbert. Yes, let's, let's well, figure the, out. The, the winning team? Okay. okay. So, the, 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 
the, t- the other team. We'll call the it winning that, right? team. So on my team, you've got one half of the longest reigning tag team champions in WPW history, uh, representing PYT, Hot Chocolate, Curtis Payne. Uh, you have uh, repre- representing the Silver Mountain Mafia, none other than the Johnny Rocco. All right. You've got my personal henchman, Savage, who uh, put the boots and pretty much uh, put Victor Cortez on a silver platter for Playboy at the last show. Yeah. And then you've got, oh, wait, I'm not telling you who my fourth guy is. Oh, I almost had it. I was going to say there's a big question oh. mark here. I was waiting to see who yeah. was going to... Who's going to fill it's in the question mark? It's a dark silhouette with a question I mark. You think I'm yeah, dumb enough to show all my cards at once like this idiot? No. Oh, I heard it was because that you can't find a fourth member for your <laughs> team because everybody oh. hates your guts. Is that the truth? Hey, 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 Judge. I don't hate his guts. Even if he's talking smack, I still don't hate well, his guts. Well, you've only known him for like 15 minutes. <sighs> it's about 10 minutes. It, it's listen, too long for me to maybe. know him. Did, but. Did, did, you ever, did you ever have the butcher on any of your teams or on your side? Um... Was he ever no. on? Oh, oh, yeah, well, I, he was around, but he was he was like tired at that point in time. I, I like you better because you didn't sure have the enough. butcher on your side. I, I still hold that against some folks, but that's all right. I think Pigpen's a fourth guy. I, you know what? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. I will take you out. Put the judge in. I, yeah, I will take you clean out. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah keep, keep it up. We'll see. Well, he does have an advantage that most people in Jerseyville don't have. He has teeth. So, I mean, you can bite people. I, I'm not from I'm not Jersey. ruling it out. But. I'm not from Jerseyville. That's why I still have him. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Sorry, people in Jerseyville. Just playing the game with the guy. <laughs> I've seen a tooth in Jerseyville. I'm going to get some hate lamb mail now. Yeah, well, so. <laughs> you're looking more like that fourth member. Hey, spe- speaking of Jerseyville, anything good going on up there tonight? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like we should cover Thursday we night. We should real, real quick, quick and then take after. a quick break, and then we'll be back with... Uh, with R- real quick, yeah. let's tell everybody what's we'll going on tonight, that. because it's it's getting so, late in the evening. We know about the sea shanty sing along going uh, every, on at Morrison's, right? Every Thursday, right? And then uh, open mic down at Germania, open mic at uh, Raging Cajun, yep. DJ Denise at Bossa Nova, as usual on a Thursday, and uh, up the back bar in Edwardsville, it's uh, DJ Bobby Light, and down in Pontoon Beach at Deutz Village in tonight, Jeremy Drake from seven to eleven. Hey, Deutz not not only doing the double headers on, uh, with the Friday Saturday bands, but now throwing in the Thursdays. Good for them. I have to uh, thank Deborah Hankins Cortez right on the uh, on the. Uh What's that uh, group? Alton. Bands playing Alton, yeah. Wood River, Godfrey, Roxanne. I forget all the cities, but I know exactly which site you're this talking about. Week, it's a great, uh, great Facebook site for bands to go to them. Right. Not, and she, she gets on there and like types in things, you know, not just links and everything. So she's the one that did the uh, Deutz lineup this week. Nice. And uh, it was really nice because she actually explains who each person is and it. pretty cool little post. I didn't write all that down, though. Well, you can tell she's in. I mean, mm-hmm. she... she puts that side up because she's into supporting uh-huh. the local music scene so uh big thanks to deborah out there i don't right I, I don't know who she is but i hope to meet her someday so. right and while we're thanking people let's thank mr man van force of messias insurance for sponsoring the show and let's thank the uh, help of music company once again and then we'll uh take a break and uh be back with uh the rest of the program with uh, these guys from the world powerhouse or wrestling association right there we go all right we'll be back with more riverbend talent after this <laughs> And now more Riverbend Talent with Dennis Laird and Pig Pen. Oh, uh, I'm Dennis. And I'm Pig Pen. Yep. Pen, 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 Pen. We are talking to the world powerhouse wrestlers. Yeah, I love it whenever these guys come in. It's always so much fun because, uh, you know, wrestling is one of those things The you know, if you don't think of it as a talent, you've never done it. Because we're, we're called Riverbend Talent. So people are like, oh, you do bands, you do actors. No, wrestling is a definite talent because uh, you guys, I, I, well, I've seen some blood in your stages. I, uh, I saw the, the one guy just split down the middle uh, in, in the bathroom after it happened, like washing the blood off his face. It was crazy. Uh, <laughs> To not kill each other, <laughs> to, 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 to hurt each other without breaking each other's necks. That's a talent because I've seen some of your guys take some serious falls that look like they could have easily broke their necks on them. I have broken some necks. Your own or other people? No, 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 not mine, not yet. <laughs> I, I've, I've, I've put a couple cracks yeah. in some necks. He's, I mean, he's about to have his broken if he keeps getting under my skin like he always does. Well, 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 real, real quick, what I like about Wapo, I've never met Wapo. 
But he says it. I, I broke a couple of necks, well, and he says it like with a smile well, and a little bit of laugh. <laughs> like, whoa, dude, I mean, that is sadistic, bro. <laughs> I won the match. It was okay. Uh, I don't know. I just <laughs> they, uh, you, so. So, have you really think you like sent somebody to the hospital? Oh after yeah, a they match? flew him out in the helicopter. It was it was crazy. And and who was that wrestler? I don't remember. You don't. Oh, you are like a CIA guy, agent. You are cold. Know. It's like whenever you get your hundredth kill, there's just gonna be confetti, and you're all gonna celebrate like I'm a confetti sure CIA they threw agent. Over a wall. A wall. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just some jobber. So. Yeah. Uh, so so, I, I, I want to bring up one thing real quick. What I noticed about the two teams here is is that. You're not in the team, and you're not in the team. Yeah, look, I see me right there. But 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 it's all it's four on four, isn't it? it yeah. yeah. So, so you're not actually wrestling. No, I'm moral support. And you're not actually wrestling. He's I'm not a wrestler. I'm I'm a businessman. I'm not a wrestler. I'm not like the heathens that get in that ring. True. You just make your money off those heathens. Damn right. Smart man. Smart man. Now now I know you consider uh, uh, your. Assistant or super assistant, special. He is assistant my assistant. Too. He's not the assistant CEO, and he's he is strictly my assistant. We right. have equal power. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, you think of him as a heathen? That would be an upgrade. He is yeah, dog I, crap. Oh, that's rude. <laughs> it's, it's close to what you smell like. Oh. He doesn't bathe much, does he? No, he doesn't. Uh, you know, I'm kind of getting on your side with that. Sorry, Wapo, but there, there's a stage to you. I was born you. in the jungle, and I saw it. I, don't know. I know there's a there's a. Americans are real. Mm. Oh, oh, it's it's not you. It's the judge. Hey, oh. hey I, I took oh. a shower yesterday. It, I don't think it's a lack of a shower. Are you wearing a diaper? Or what? What's going on over there, Judge? <laughs> Look, when you get. I'm about to turn 50 in a few weeks here. When you get my age, sometimes, you know, you have accidents. <laughs> okay, let that be a lesson to all the young kids. If you feel like you've got to urinate, just let it go. Don't hold it in. You're wearing out O-rings inside. No, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if that's true. Anyway, the fake news. Don't listen to me, kids. Hold it in forever. Uh, maybe that's bad news, too. Anyway, yeah, you, you, you have a... a Whew, let's move on. So you 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 were you're not a wrestler. You're just the CEO. Yeah, you, you have you have you ever wrestled like in high school or anything? No, he has. Oh, look at him. <laughs> look at him. He, he looks really, like you. Really, you you want to talk about him. looks here, old man? Yeah. I need you to scoot like six inches that way because the bald spot is blinding me here. I turn my sunglasses <laughs> on. So keep it up, old man. Well, um, I mean, no, I never actually wrestled in high school. I did some. I did some stuff here and there. Um, just kind of goofing around backyard kind of stuff. Um, I don't advise that. That was really dumb of me back then, but I was young and dumb. Right. I think he also um, did some foxy boxing back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is me we're talking about, not you. Um, but, no, I mean, I've been a fan of wrestling as long as I can remember. So, so that, but, that was my that was my, where I was going, is how did you get into being the CEO if you're not a wrestler? Well, you just were just a big fan. Well, really, how, I, I used to have a wrestling podcast, and I was invited by someone that used to be with the company to come check out the show and, and, and report on the show, and it just kind of snowballed from there i ended up being you know ring announcer and then i was managing that no good xavier frost and then the board of directors came in they're like hey we need a ceo the old one hit the bricks and uh you're you're the guy and look look what i've done with the company since then i mean it's been two and a half years now and we've grown leaps and bounds because of me wow and so, so i heard and i don't know you can tell me if this is true the ceo before you when you say hit the bricks actually someone had cut his brake line and he went and he had a car wreck. Is that true? I believe that is the rumor going around. I don't know. I that's mean, Chip had revenge out for him because he took Chip's job. Oh wow, that's the judge. He took your. What? Well, actually, what was it? What was the job that he took? Like fluffer? He, no, he was CEO. <laughs> no, Chip used to, this was Chip was CEO when we called the no, dark. I, I thought this was like a family show. Like you invite me here onto your radio show that no one listens to. And you're sitting here insulting me. I could be at home in my hot tub right now with one of my many, many beautiful girlfriends. I could be at home in your hot tub with one of your many beautiful girlfriends. I, I, most of them call me regularly, I'm going to be honest. They're like, oh, the judge, he's old. He doesn't, wear his, he doesn't wear his wig enough. Sitting in the bathtub <laughs> farting, creating your bubbles is not a hot tub. Just, no, just that's so you're the jacuzzi. <laughs> 
such a crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god oh, so we're uh, talking about combat uh, games that's uh coming up in jerseyville <laughs> yeah, thanks for reeling us all back in no i'm just saying you know <laughs> yeah. I, that's uh that, i like jerseyville jerseyville's a cool place uh what's that the susnick center right there it's 401 mound street Pigpen. you know what i think about the mounds right uh, you think about the Cokie mm-hmm. Mounds and the giants that are buried underneath them that will someday rise and eat us all right is that real know. I don't know, fake news. <laughs> I don't know. You probably come from Aztec country. Maybe you can tell us. Dude, we don't have giants. No? That's you don't crazy. have giants no. there? No. You got cyclopses or anything cool? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Awesome, <laughs> yeah. man. I'm down with that. <laughs> yeah. I pull guys out all the time. They're cyclopses. <laughs> That's not exactly what I meant, but I got you. All right. One eye, so. one eye. <laughs> but uh, it's five bucks, right, for this because of Jerseyville, right, being a cool place for you guys to do this, right? Yeah, I, I, I decided um, because Jerseyville is such a good town and, and everything else that um, – Let's we'll give them a discount. Five dollar tickets in advance. So um, nice. if you're in Jerseyville, uh, get your tickets now. If by you it's going to cost you more. I had to beg you to do this. Then you're right. But you didn't decide it. It's money out of my like pocket. Hours. But no, they're they're a good town. Uh, they're usually yeah, you know one of our better towns. So we figured we we'd give back a little bit. Nice, nice. So that's five dollars to get in. And now there's not just the one match. The one this is the big match we're talking about. The the uh, team Wapo versus Team Halbert with with the CEO uh, on the line. Who you one of you will come out the the, the new leader or the the you know it, it, it won't be new. It'll just I'll it'll, just it, extend it, my tenure. Right, yeah, right. Okay, I got you. I'm, I'm with you on that. Hey, uh, Matt, will, will you get a new assistant? While we're oh, I'm gonna fire him in a heartbeat. No, uh, really? sorry, Wapo. I didn't mean to throw you under the bus. So you seem all right. I need a new ring girl. Girl, actually, and you know, it's just the smell. I can't figure out. The train technician. I mean, there's I, lots of jobs I could have Wapo do. I could still be the ring girl. I'm you good. know what you should get him to do? Teach the judge to wipe better. Because I'm smelling something coming over here. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good job for him. I, I think. think. It's from <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so you can get tickets at uh, www.ticketleap.com. <laughs> right. Yeah. For this event, or you can stop by the station. You guys left some tickets out front. Uh, yeah, that's right. It. There are some tickets out front. People could stop by the station and pick them up. Uh, free. You could definitely yeah. go free. online. And, yeah, there's some free tickets here to pick up. Um, if wow. you can't get by here, you can buy them online at wpw.ticketleap.com. There's also three locations in, uh, in and around Jerseyville. You can go to the Park and Rec Center, the Sysnik Center, and, and buy them there. You can go to Outrageous Outdoors, the, the hunting supply store in town on State Street, and they have tickets for sale there. And then if you're in uh, towards Carrollton, the Wagon Wheel Restaurant has tickets for sale. Love Home the, of the hobo. Yeah, love the wagon wheel. And, and, and there are actually hobos living behind. No, I, I don't know. <laughs> You used to live back there. That's where I met you. So that there were there's uh, free tickets down here at WBGZ for anybody who can get down here Mm -hmm. while supplies last, and and then uh, online WPW. Dot ticket leap dot com. Ticket, WPW dot com or three locations in Jerseyville, right? And and you gave those locations. So the number three, it's a magic number. Let's talk about women. Three okay. on three. Uh, well, there's a there is a, a three way match. This a three way, yeah, a woman's uh, three way. That's what I want to talk three-way. about. Not that way, Chip. Now, now, just when people start paying attention, you got to go and ruin it, Howard. <laughs> I want to hear more about this women's three-way. All right, so there, Finally, there, there me and you two. agree. It's the first time we've agreed on something. I'm there, interested, too. There are too. two women's matches this show coming up. Uh, the first one is a one-on-one match. You have uh, Miss Hyde taking on Sky Solo. Both of those are graduates of the uh, Jacobs Pritchard Wrestling Academy. And if you don't know uh, who that is, uh, Glenn Jacobs is known from the WWE as Kane. And uh, Dr. Tom Pritchard is a longtime WWE wrestler, and he's most notable for being the man who trained The Rock. Oh, wow. And so those two are are going to square off. And then we have a three-woman match. You have Ashley Scott out of the Kansas City area taking on... Kaylee D and Maddie Lee Exodus. Listen, I'll see, I'm going to tell you right now. Watching all those women wrestle worth five dollars. I'm talking to the dads now, not the children. <laughs> but the, 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 everyone will enjoy it. I'm just saying, there's there's fun for the whole family. It's not just for the kids. You hear me, dads? There is absolutely <laughs> fun for everybody, and even the wives who feel or the moms who feel like they're drug along, they'll enjoy the show. Yeah. But 
I also have vendors at the show. I have vendors who sell paparazzi jewelry. I have vendors who sell Scentsy scented wax. I have vendors who sell Color Street nails. So there is a little bit of something for everybody who comes to the show. Nice. Very nice. And since it's only five bucks, they have plenty of money to spend as our vendors. Husbands, we apologize that your wives are going to clean you out while you're there. (laughs) Hey, uh, we got a phone call. Let's see if they're still there. All right. Let's check it out. Caller, are you there? Oh, I'm definitely here. Okay, who are we talking to? The one and only last icon himself, Xavier Frost. Oh, Super Jesus. Frosty. Ah. Hit the dump button Super on this frosty. guy. Uh, <laughs> frosty yeah, hit Blake. the dump button on yourself, Halbert. <laughs> <laughs> so, Xavier Frost, uh, uh, have you? Uh, are you the current belt holder? No, no, you're not. That's right. Have you ever held a belt? Oh I am the only three-time WPW world champion. I also am the only. I held the belt the longest out of anyone at 320 days, and I'm also the only man to ever step into the Skull Canyon cage and walk back out of it. Yeah, he's on my team. Oh wow! Okay, and, and the Skull Canyon cage is this one we're talking about with the barbed wire and all that. Is that right? Oh, you're right. Okay, because that sounds pretty, uh, pretty, pretty crazy there. But if I remember right, when I saw you, you know, like it looked like Albert could have taken himself when I saw you. <laughs> well, I don't know what kind of uh, alcohol you've been dipping into. Oh, but, that's uh, not alcohol. <laughs> Albert is Albert. You got something uh, to say? I don't think he could take a fly. Uh, that's and that's being generous. It. Listen, he's got all these stooges working for him. He thinks he's a big shot. But come November 16th, we're finally going to see the end of Jason Halbert and his reign as CEO of WPW. And unfortunately, that means Waffle's going to be in charge. But hey, 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 it's got to be better than Halbert. <laughs> that ain't, that ain't going to happen. And, and you're, you're starting to sound more and more like a broken record with your same boring accomplishments. You haven't done squat since I you know, dumped you to come uh, be CEO. So, you know, when you, when you step up your game a little bit more, then maybe we can talk. You give me one single title shot. Uh, yeah. Because you're I, scared. Huh? Because you know what happens. If what? I get a shot at the belt, I'm winning the belt. It sounds like you're calling from a potato. I can't understand a word you're saying with your crappy flip flow. What now? What? You want a title That's shot? That ain't going to happen, buddy. You know that. that I, 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 I let you in that Skull Canyon against Searcher last time we were there. And, yeah, you know what? Some things happened. You did, may have walked out, but you didn't hold that title long. So uh, I gave you your shot. Why, why should I give you another one? I might just fire you right after uh, combat games when I win. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I like it. I like That'd it. That would be the worst thing you'll ever make a decision about. The Albert. worst thing I ever did was so give me okay. that contract that that's I'm okay, working on getting you out you're not going to win. Right. My team's going to win. I see. I see. I'll be surprised if we don't. if we don't. All survive the cage. I see all all four members is. of your team. You only know three of my four, so you can't prepare for that. And you what's, can't, yeah, that's, that's just it. You can't even get a fourth guy. I've got a fourth guy. What makes you think I don't have a fourth guy? Oh, please it's tell me it's, it's not you, you Pigman. <laughs> please tell me it's you. No, it's not going to be me. What are, you, what are you talking about? It might be me, though. I'm still recovering from my know. knee surgery that was caused because of you. What What did he do to your <laughs> knee? I, Back in April, Russell War, uh, this idiot beat this other idiot that I paid very well, Scar. Um, and at the end of, if he won, if he beat Scar, he got five minutes in the ring alone with me. Um, and he, I mean, pretty. Much, I'm not a wrestler, so I mean, whoop de do. You beat up a, a non wrestler. Good for you. Congratulations. You did it. And he he tore up my knee. I had to have some major reconstructive surgery to it. Still recovering from it. And I mean, yeah, good job, congratulations. Well, yeah, that, I'm, I'm kind of feeling you on that one because you, we, we already covered this ground before he called in. You're not a wrestler. You have not wrestled, so that's kind of mean, Xavier. I'm just going to say it. That's kind of mean. <laughs> you know, I mean, so those were the stipulations of the match. He didn't tell you all the stuff that he did leading up to that. All the times he cost me matches. What? Well, all the mean, times he interfered in my matches. Hit me with a hammer. He hit me with a hammer. Did you have it coming? <laughs> I mean, he did. Have you, have you spent everybody, five minutes alone with everybody's him? Everybody's got something coming to him at some point. But 
I'm November only talking. November 16th, Halbert's going to get his. Look, I'll talk. So that's guaranteed. I'll, I will talk a lot of smack to you for one reason, Xavier Frost. You're not sitting here. I'd probably be a little scared if you were, I'll be honest. But <laughs> I'm that kind of guy. I am that kind of guy. So, you know. Uh, so that's there's your show. Yeah, if, I don't know about that. I, I don't know why I'm even here. <laughs> anyway, uh, so there you go, man. We got Xavier Frost uh, throwing down uh, the smack talk towards the CEO who, you know, I, you're, you're, and you're saying you're going to get rid of him after this. And there's a good possibility that most of the people on Team Oppo, I'm probably going to fire. <laughs> unless they come, unless they come, kiss a little butt afterwards, right? I mean, it's going to take. They're all. I'm going to put them through hell. When when my team is victorious, they are not going to like our December show, our January show. They're they're, they're probably going to make the next year of their lives living hell. Yeah. I'm 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 kind of surprised that that Wapo's got so much uh, such a smile on his face the whole time. What? You're very happy about all this, yeah, aren't you? I'm pretty sure I already know we're going to win. So I've just been thinking about all he's going to be doing for me in 2020. <laughs> Oh, I just cannot wait. <laughs> well, let, let me ask you this because I can't decide if I like you or not. You, you, you're kind of you're you're kind of weird. Uh, I, uh, I don't like him. You're so starting okay. to love me. Well, and and you're starting to grow on me. It's weird as weird as that is. But I got to know how you feel about the judge. For you know, like, are you guys pretty tight? Um, I mean, do, do you think he stinks right now? Like, because can you smell that? <laughs> I, no, you're, I you're a, sitting as close. As I, I have I am. a mask on, so I don't. Uh, you know, because I'm wondering how you can sit so close to him. I and, think it's the mask that. You're smelling. Oh, it might be. It might be kind of mildewed. I don't know. Yeah, and and you know w- when Xavier Frost accused me of being drunk, you started to talk some smack on me there. I don't know what's going on with you. Well, you're not drunk, but you're obviously high as a kite. And what's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> no, just... that's my wrestling technique. I don't feel any pain. No. I'm, I'm medicated enough. I feel nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what your wife said. <laughs> <laughs> That's what all your girlfriends said in your hot tub or your your sauna as they were all farting on me. I don't remember. How'd they go again? I forget. <laughs> it's a jacuzzi, and it doesn't matter how they feel as long as I feel it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, all right. Uh, Xavier Frost, thanks for calling in. We got another call. I'm going to take oh, that, all right? No problem. All right. Thanks See for calling you, in. Appreciate the time. Mm-hmm. All right. Who's calling in now? You're on the air. Or did you give up? Are you there, caller? Now, obviously, that's the well, fourth Frost wrestler. Frost was so long-winded, they probably got an tired and hung up. Yeah, they did, bro. Yeah. That's my fault. That, that was probably that scar guy, you know. Hey, Pigpen, let's yeah. talk about Friday before we get too far oh, down yeah. the line oh, here. Oh, she's almighty. Right? Yeah. Friday night yeah. around the River Bend, some live performances. Uh, salute to veterans featuring the Glendale Riders. God right? That's him. put on by the Alton Godfrey Rotary Club. And it's the 8th annual benefit concert at Lewis and Clark College, and they give out scholarships for that. Excellent, excellent. So, uh, you know, Mila Duffy was probably scheduled to uh, play down at uh, Morrison's Friday, but uh, unfortunately involved in an accident, I guess, Big Ben? I uh, understand it was a car accident, so uh, I I think she's going to not be uh, taking a stage for for a few weeks. Mm, That's unfortunate, so we need to rally behind Mila and uh, and get her better and get the... uh, Absolutely. Get her back down there to Morrison's. Also going on this weekend, Astral Moth. Remember those guys? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sea Shine and uh, Arisiria. Is that it? Is that it? <laughs> Arisiria. Hey, right. 8 p.m. at the back room at Bottle and Barrel. Benbow Sh- City Shuffle uh, down at Shea, Maryland's on Friday night. Worth like the Fight name. down at the back bar in Edwardsville. Uh, Skylark Brothers doing Who Dats in Collinsville at 7.30. Wade Trent at Aries Winery at 5 o'clock. The Grand Band out in Bethalto, Locks Brick House. Nice. Uh, then we got <coughs> Phil Callis. Callis Entertainment presents yeah. Angel at the Diamond Billboards and Music Club in St. Peter's, Missouri. So, man, Angel. Look yeah. at that. Yeah, well, that's not all. Uh, Mr. Phil Callis has got going on this weekend. We'll get to that on Saturday. But uh, Midwest Avenue doing George's Local Brew in Jerseyville, and that's where the combat game is going to be on Absolutely. November 16th. And we've been talking to the uh, World Powerhouse Wrestlers about that. And you can get your tickets for that at wpw.ticketleap.com. Or you can come down to the station while supplies last. Free tickets right here, 227 Market Street. Hey, check the phone. we got a caller coming. Let's do it. To the phone lines, and you're on the air. Who's this? You there, caller? Speak your name. 
they gave up again. See, I, I think it's <laughs> maybe it's a Stratford ghost that we discovered. Ah, it, it's. It, I you bet know, you there's an, an, it's, it's an that, old ghost wrestler that hangs out in this hotel. I think it's the old ghost prostitute from upstairs. That's Met calling. prostitutes and uh, piano players and all that. So. All kinds of good ghosties mm-hmm. around here. Fun Transient people, it seems ghosts. like. Yeah, Trans- Chip, you know <laughs> anything about that? <laughs> well, no. I did see some ectoplasm in the restroom <laughs> earlier. <laughs> <laughs> whole wall is covered in it. <laughs> That's not ectoplasm, buddy. <laughs> Just plain old plasma. <laughs> so, uh, if I may, um, I know we're pushing combat games because I'm going to finally rid myself of this Woo! cancerous growth. But also, uh, one big thing we got coming up in December um, is uh, we're going to be in Collinsville, and we're going to have a uh, wrestling seminar with a gentleman named Bob Evans. Yeah, Bruno no, Bob. Not the, not the breakfast guy. He's not bringing sausage oh, or biscuits and gravy. Got I was sausage. super excited for a minute. I'm like, I'll take the rise and shine breakfast. No. <laughs> um, so we, we've got that coming. I'm actually going to turn this over to you, uh, Shane. I'm going to let him talk because he's you know, in my ear telling me all kinds of stuff. So here, buddy, why don't you just go and talk? Anyway. I'm CEO. You know, I'm, I'm the guy that, that has to uh, get the venue set up and arrange these things. So let me uh, explain a little bit hey, here. Hey, real, real quick, before you explain it, you're also the guy who decided it was $5, maybe? Somebody had to make the suggestion I, to I get him know. to do it, I you know? know? So... Uh, December 14th at the VFW in Collinsville, we have Brutal Bob Evans. He's most known for his time in Ring of Honor, but he has uh, been in WWE. He's been in uh, Impact Wrestling. Uh, he's been just about everywhere all over the world. He is one of the most sought-after independent wrestling trainers in the country. And his the biggest thing that he does for independent wrestlers is he teaches them how to make money yeah. as an independent wrestler. There you go. The big knock on independent wrestling is that there's no money in it and he not only teaches them how to do it he guarantees they will double their what they make within 90 days wow. he teaches them how to not just be your local 20 mile wrestler but how to get out and get bookings all across the country how to get weekend fulls of bookings he, he has a wealth of knowledge he's even printed the manual on how to take that money you make wrestling and turn it into a sustainable income nice that that's good information for people like i wish someone would do that with bands back whenever i was a kid and teach you hey you know here's Here's how you set up a tour. Here's how you set up a regional tour. And here's how you make some money at it. And, and he's not one of those guys that you pay your money, take the seminar, and then you never hear from him again. You were lucky that, that they spent two seconds talking to you. He is accessible. You can you can shoot him a message on social media. He responds to you. If you have a question, he'll get back to you. He, he will help you out. If, if he's impressed with you, he will, he'll give you shout-outs. He'll say, hey, book this person. And he has con- – people – Promoters from all over the country follow this guy nice. to see who he recommends. Nice, and that's cool to hear. He's the he's accessible after the fact because so often you hear these people who are going to teach you how to make money, and at the end you go, well, yeah, you you just took my money. Exactly. That's how you make money. Exactly. <laughs> you just took my- Let's put it this way: I have people contacting me to take the seminar who have taken his seminar before, wow. and they want to do it, and then they want to come back and do it nice. again. That's cool. very nice. And that's so. the uh, brutal Bob Evans seminar on December fourteenth, and that's a double header that night because uh, after that, Christmas chaos, right now at the uh, VFW. That is correct, and Bob Evans will be appearing on that card. In fact, he will choose his opponent that night from someone who takes the seminar. Whoever he is most impressed with in the seminar will be his opponent in the main event. Wow. Wow. Look at that. So there, there's a big reason. If you you like wrestling, there's a big reason to take this seminar. You could end up in the square circle with badass Bob Evans and and his sunrise breakfast. And... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so the seminars for for wrestlers of all experience. If you are an experienced wrestler and you want to come in and work with Bob Evans and and hone your craft, you're you are welcome to come out and do that. If you've thought about getting into wrestling, this would be a, the most opportune time to to come in and and start. And if you're that person that wants to get into wrestling, you want to stick around and talk to us. We do now have a place in Granite City at American Family Fitness nice. where we can train people to the basics oh, of getting cool. into wrestling. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. How do they uh, get a hold of you for that? They can uh, contact us through our Facebook page. They okay. can contact us through our Instagram page, or they can email us at wpwvideo at gmail dot com. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to say, Shane, uh, there isn't. I want to say you went down to Missouri or something. You had to go for your type of training, right? So is this a new thing in Illinois uh, in this area? 
there there are several options in the area, and there's mm-hmm. several great options in the area. And you always want to make sure that that you go someplace that's going to teach you correct. That's that's going to not just try to take money from you or, or teach you dangerously. I, I, even yeah. worse is something there that says I'll do it for free and then Big. slam you around and break your neck. Right. So you want to go someplace that you want to make sure is doing it right. And there are several great options. Mm-hmm. Uh, one thing that we do have is we we recently uh, we work with ACW out of Missouri, and they have the the great connection to the Pritch of Pritchard, uh, Jacobs Pritchard Academy. Mm -hmm. And so you learn some basics with us and we can give you the access to go down to Tennessee and and work with those that are truly connected into the business. Man, and and that's beautiful. What you said is so right about someone taking your money, but even more important is someone who will tell you they're going to do it for free or just for a couple of bucks, but then they leave you injured, you know? I mean, that's the worst because now, what, what are you going to do? You can't get a job, you know? I had the same problem at a rub and tug once. They offered a... Be- a- <laughs> <No>. <laughs> anyway. Hey, with that, let's try to take another call. Is that when you hurt your shoulder? Die with that. Hey, keep your hands off me, too, man. Listen, man. Yeah, so, this, so, is, this is my house. This Tom- is my dojo here. Hey, pig pen. Let's try to take seriously. Some more. Let's try to take another call. Let's All see right. what happens All this right. time. Third time's a charm. Saved Back by to the, the bell. Phones. Who are we talking call- to on the phone lines? Hello, are you there? They give up every time because you can just ghost. keep talking. Well, they, you know that's okay. <laughs> uh, we're going to call that saved by the bell. That's what that's what just happened with the butcher or with the not the butcher. I'm so with used to judge. picking on the butcher. I'm so used to picking on the butcher with the judge. The butcher. Yeah, you're lucky you were saved by the bell, yeah. punk. You were saved by the. I, 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 Look, this is my dojo. I've told you that. Look, they're, they're calling back. I'll shut up. This is I'll shut up Let's Joe. do it this time. All right, back to the phones. There we go. Now we got somebody. Who are we talking hey, to? what's going on? This is Marcellus Knight. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. We got Marcellus on the phone. How you doing, Mr. Knight? I'm doing all right. You know, just leaving American Family Fitness Gym myself. Uh... Getting ready, clanging and banging, getting ready for uh, Jerseyville. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. Big match, big match. You didn't leave the. You didn't leave the gym. You left the McDonald's. Come on. I've seen the shape you're in. It was Bob Evans. He was getting. So, so Marcellus, you just left Bob Evans. You're feeling good tonight. Ready for the combat games, right? See, I threw that, didn't judge. <laughs> well, no, I'm not that Bob Evans, but you know. <laughs> so, so, so you're on Team Wapo, and you're ready to uh, you're you're ready to see a change uh, in the guards, huh? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, I'm, you know, me and Halbert, we've had our issues, and I'm just sick of him trying to throw his weight around figuratively and literally. You know, the problem is, it wasn't you I disliked with the, between you and your brother. It's your midget brother that I can't stand. You're just collateral damage. <laughs> oh, well, hey, like I always say, it's family first. So you pick a fight with him, you pick a fight with me. Didn't you dump him once on his head and, and just tell him, you know, go screw off? Because I think that's a good idea. You should do that again soon. Well, see, family always has their problems, but we always stick it out in the end. So we got each other's back. There you go. So, so some smack talk coming from the Knight family there, and, and Alex Steele, his little brother, we're talking about. He dumped, on you dumped him on your head. No, he dumped oh. him as a tag team. He was tired of oh. carrying Alex Steele around oh, I, with I, a tag team, and I, he, yeah, I thought he tried to break his brother's neck like Wapo here and I send, mean, send him out. Alex Steele's broken, you know, other people's necks, but he's never had his broken, unfortunately. Yeah. So there you go. Well, well, uh, that's that's great, Curtis Knight. Uh, glad to see you're on Team Mar- Wapo. Marcellus Knight. Marcellus Knight. What did I say, Curtis Knight? I'm I'm so hot. Yeah, that, a thousand names <laughs> over there. I don't know what's going I, on I, in I here. I think you're trying to say we all look alike. I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You, I think you look like Bob Evans <laughs> <laughs> Sir, serving up the Brides and Shine breakfast. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, so there, so there, there we go. So it's it's, it's all, all right. it's all on the line here. Coming up on, on the sixteenth uh, of November, and and uh, Marcellus Knight throwing his uh, two cents in the in this conversation. I don't know how, how much oh, he gets paid, so that's that's about all he's got to throw in. You better give him a penny on the back. Come on. He's, he's going to need a ride home or something for Bob Evans, right? Something like that. <laughs> well, Albert's always known for uh, keeping his mouth full anyway, so we might want to 
tell him to keep his mouth shut for once. Blah, blah, blah. It's a lot of talk coming from you, buddy. Yeah. Well, but uh, let's see. Every person you sent after me has been on the downfall lately, so I don't think you have any room to talk. Uh, it's just called bad luck for right now, but you know what? It doesn't matter because November 16th, it's put up or shut up time, buddy, and you can flap your jaw all you want. But like well, I said before, be you only know three of my members. I still have that mystery yep. guy. What, what would you do if it was Alex Steele that walked out as my mystery, mystery teammate, huh? Huh? Ooh. It could be him. You know what? I can. I just do like I've done to him the past few times. I'm the older brother. I put my foot down. Mm. I make the rules. What if it was your mama coming out there? I bet she'd shut you up. Oh, here we go. She'd shut you up quick. You'd sit down in the corner, wouldn't you? No, I don't. <laughs> Marcellus, Marcellus is like, who is this? I'm gonna if it was my mama, I would shut down and shut up because there's only one person I'm afraid of, and that's that person. Yeah, exactly. Now you know who to get on your team. Shane, can you get the number for Knight's mama? Uh, <laughs> I think we have our new team member. I think, I think, I think, I think it we, might be on his, uh, his emergency contact. Contacted in the office. Can you check that for me? I, I think we should work together. I just helped you there. I know. That's, I a, that's not a bad idea. I like this. All, so. right. <laughs> All right. Well, Marcellus Knight, thanks uh, for calling in. We need to move on down the line, but uh, good luck uh, on November 16th. Not really. Oh, trust me, I don't need the luck because right. with all my nights of the round squared circle coming around, we got this. All, all right, right. There we go. Part we'll we'll see you on the 16th. There. All right, see ya. See ya. There you go, man. Yeah, and that'll be up in uh, Jerseyville, right? Yeah. We better fly through the rest well, of Well, you know, and that's why I bring up Jerseyville, because up at DJ Pubs on Friday night in Jerseyville, they're doing the uh, Kyle Vassendahl Scholarship Benefit from 8 to 11. Now, Kyle passed away at age 27 in a car accident, and to keep his memory alive, loved ones, uh, they developed the scholarship. Nice. And uh, each year they give away thousands of dollars to a Jerseyville High School graduate who uh, plan on attending uh, Rankin College. So There you go, man. Go be an architect. Right. So that's a DJ's pub on uh, Friday night Excellent. up in Jerseyville. Excellent, man. Trace hey, uh, Tequilas, 7 p.m. at the Lake House in Buffalo Park up in Maryville. Nice. Uh, STL Every Little Thing. 9.30 p.m. at Patrick's Bar in Granite City. Mm -hmm. We got the 8-track flashback, 9.30 p.m. at Deutz Village uh, mm -hmm. in uh, Pontoon Beach. And that's probably going to be Saturday, too. That's usually, yep, they yep. usually double up. Now, now see, here, here. That's, I want to bring this up. See, I, I messed up. I got so excited about what Callus Entertainment is doing this right. weekend that I messed up here. And I, I got two different shows for Friday. And I forget which one it is. Okay. I'm just going to be honest about it. I, I think that the Enough Zenith, as yeah. I like to call them, uh -huh. Enough Zenith, uh -huh. uh, is is uh, the Saturday. But I could be wrong no, about that. No, because I think that's the Friday. That's, that the Saturday one's the one that's got me excited. Okay, there we go. So, so anyways, we'll just we'll just move on to just Saturday. Winging. Okay, there you and, go. And mention that. Ingve Malmsteen <laughs> is a show. Ingve! Where, where is this show at? <laughs> it's going to be at the Diamond Billiards Music Club, and that's in St. Peter's. St. Oh, Peter's, right, Missouri. Right up the road. Right. Yeah, Ing Ingve mm -hmm. Malmsteen, right. practicing his scales right now to put on a show. I heard that the first uh, four seats, dead center, $60 a piece, you can get those tickets. Wow. Sit right in front of Ingve and watch him. Do wow. his thing. There you go. Yeah, Ingve J Malmsteen. You know he puts the <laughs> he puts the J in there, well, so you don't confuse him with the other. There's Yngwie a lot of Ingve Malmsteen. Malmsteens out there. Like right. when you Google them or Facebook them, it's right. like which one is it? I don't know. Speaking of Saturday, Chris Bryan down at the Old Bakery Brewery from seven to ten. The Wild Geese doing Morrison's Irish Pub. Jake Weber and the Lonesome Drifters doing uh, Shea Maryland eight o'clock. Flip the Frog. We're gonna talk to those guys later. Yep. They're doing Third Shoot and Alton at nine thirty on Saturday. The Ball at 5 p.m. and Jenna X at 9.30 at the Pump House in Wood River. Saving this one for you, uh, Pigpen. All right, number four, Combo Tweed and Corduroy Tour. <laughs> <laughs> tweed and Corduroy Tour. Those guys are so goofy. <laughs> I love it when you just throw things at me. Yeah. I haven't read yet. Yeah. Uh, number four, Combo Tweed and Corduroy Tour, 8 to midnight at the Sunset Bar in Godfrey, right. Illinois. Mm -hmm. Those guys right. are goofy. Then the Ivis Johns Band uh, doing Grafton Winery from 3 to 7 on Saturday. And here's a big one right here, Ruby Lee. Yeah. 
that's the, the young Dolly Parton, mm-hmm. uh, little, little like little girl sings Dolly Parton. My wife's actually bought her CD. Right, She's a good the, singer. The Rib Rumble going on at the Hog Pit, and Ruby nice. Lee going to be there uh, from two to five. Great write up by Jill Moon and the uh, Telegraph, and uh, you know George Ports discovered her right, just like he did Allison Krauss. Wow, right, and uh, he actually suggested that she learn an instrument, as, as she he had seen her at nine years old, right? Yeah, and. Uh, so she did. She picked up a guitar. So wow. now she's 12, right? Yep. Amazing talent. Matter of fact, she holds the world title. Did you know that? The country world title. She brought it back to the United States. And what this was, was uh, there's like an uh, Olympic thing for uh, performing arts. Crazy. And uh, she was on the U.S. team. Right? Yeah. And uh, she finished first in country and then in the world. Man, it's hard to and beat the Asians at country music. I, that's what I was thinking. Can you imagine the last five years of the Philippines winning in country for, music? <laughs> like, like Thank other God country. for Ruby Lee, man. Bring it home. What other Jeez. country? The, I can see, like, maybe some <laughs> European countries or something. That's exactly. But seriously, like, uh, you know, you, uh, I don't know. Okay, let's move hey, on. Well, move you know, on. I got to mention poor Mike Johnson with all that hype around oh, yeah, R- yeah, Ruby yeah. Lee. Yeah. Mike Johnson's. <laughs> <laughs> the, Poor Mike. At the hog pit too from <laughs> right, six to ten. Right so. now, Mike's like I'm a huge star mm. in the Philippines. Not anyway. <laughs> anyway. Hooky and Jay and Whalen doing Aries Winery from two to six on Saturday. All right, and then the Sweet Savannah's relief benefit. The Skylark Brothers doing that from. 2 to 10 at uh, Holiday Shores Clubhouse in Edwardsville. Oh, cool. That's up at the uh, up at the clubhouse mm-hmm. at the lake there. Hot Wire at the back bar in Edwardsville. Scott playing from 6 to 9 at Big Daddy's in Edwardsville. So if your name's Scott, you yeah, got a gig gotta Saturday. Gig. <laughs> right? I'm going to change my name to Scott before Saturday just right. so I can take that gig. <laughs> right. Mas- uh, Masterminds, mm-hmm. 9 p.m. at the Imperial Pub in Granite City. Yeah. And again, the 8-track flashback, 9.30 at Deutz Village Inn in Pontoon Beach. The uh, ARC fundraising dance with the Mondon Band from uh, 7 to 11 at Julia's Banquet Center in East Alton. We played their big band a long I, a time long, ago. It wasn't called Julia's Banquet Center, though. It was called something else. I think it was, actually. Was it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah it got it a long. video of it. A video of you, man. I'm going to show that to you I, later. Please don't. <laughs> please don't. Uh, how about uh, the Savoy Brown Band? There you go. Uh, 8 p.m. at the Wildy Theater on Saturday, and there's the Ingve Malmsteen show. There you go. Ingve. J. Uh, Malmsteen. That takes all right. us all the way up to Sunday in the top of the hour. Of course, you get the Mondon Band at Mike's Tin Pin on Sunday nights to do the open mic at the Stagger Inn. Ah! <laughs> Thurston Howe Duo, uh, 4 to 7 at the Tri County Rod and Gun here. Club in Brighton. You Scott and Carl. Good job. I'm trying to do my job. Leave him alone, Chip. He's doing a fine yeah. fine job. Yeah, Why don't Chip. You shut up, yeah, Howard. Chip. I like, I like Big that. I like that better than the judge. I like that better than the judge. Chip. <laughs> I'm going to call Let's Chip. Pick, Pat, why don't you get out? I'm going to give you five minutes to get out of this studio. First of all, four minutes are already gone. This is my studio, and the butcher ain't here to no, save your butt like last time. This isn't your studio. I got here a little earlier. I talked to Dennis. <laughs> He's actually in the market for a new sidekick. Oh. Because he's tired of uh, coming in here and finding all these uh, Joker paper wrappers mm. and all these all roaches. Right. He was begging for a job is what he was doing. Listen, so don't worry. It's it's just it's Listen, what he first of all, I know him well enough that he likes the Joker paper wrappers. <laughs> and, and he, he likes and you, you to save what? him some. And you know what? You are a joker. So there. What? He, 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 you know, listen. I like Scott you think, and Carl at the uh, Crafted Winery I got, I, on Sunday. I got to tell you, Dennis, why I'm not afraid of the butcher tonight, <laughs> even though he is a wrestler and I'm not. You don't need to be tonight. I'm on Coke. Oh man. A cola. A cola. Outlaw Coca- Express at the Hog Pit. Coca Cola. I'm hey. ignoring this. <laughs> <laughs> that that was a joke. Riding Just like you at the back bar on Sunday, but. <laughs> Uh-oh. Why don't you take those getting ugly. I think we got I a fight breaking out here. I Chip and Pigpen. Oh, oh, man. Chip and Pigpen throwing down as they uh, leave the room here. And the WPW crew going out to bail them out. I guess I'm left holding the bag. Uh, I'm Dennis. Uh, get out there and support local music and art. i got to go help Pigpen. And uh, we'll talk to you next week right here on Riverbend Talent. i got to go help. Are you all right? Shit! I am so fucking sorry. Oh, god damn, you really went down.